on the banks of the River Mourne in County Tyrone, Northern Ireland, is a spread of architecturally magnificent mill buildings. Designed and constructed during the mid-1800s, this flax-spinning mill and its companion village of Sion Mills, with its 40 listed buildings, are unique in Ireland. But this is not just a place to discover an architectural treasure. This is where a fascinating story unfolds of a factory-owning family and a community of mill workers who lived and worked here through seven generations and whose legacy lives on in the very bricks and mortar of what stands here today. This was Herdman's Limited, the last of the great Irish flax spinning mills. Silent now, but for 170 years it was here that raw flax was transformed into the finest linen yarn in the world thread destined for all corners of the globe. This mighty flow convinced the Herdmans to site the mill here, and from 1835 they harnessed the power of this river to drive all the mill machinery. But it was witnessing the then impoverished and starving rural community that set the resolve of the early Herdman brothers to establish not just the mill here, but to set in motion a social experiment the likes of which had never been tried in Ireland. The Herdman's vision was to create a moral, God-fearing, temperate, educated mill community close to the Northwest's extensive flax growing fields. A school good housing and fine churches were built, and health care provided. Just a few of the ways in which the Herdmans helped their uniquely non-sectarian workforce and the village community to thrive. Not least during the Great Potato Famine of 1847, when their food relief saved local people from death by starvation. There is no other place in Ireland that has such a story to tell. As ever ahead of their time, the Herdmans believed in recreation and sport for all. They set up everything from a choir to a cricket team. Cricket became a passion, and Sion Mills produced some of Ireland's finest cricketers, a few of whom had a hand in the overwhelming defeat on their home field of the greatest West Indian cricket team of all time. There are many wonderful stories to be told about this place and its people. Sion Mills is on the scenic Northwest Passage tourist route and lies between the award-winning Ulster American Folk Park at Oma and the historic walled city of Derry. The 152-foot high mill chimney and yellow brick buildings are easy to spot on their site by the river, which provides ample opportunity for recreation and leisure still. These buildings saw the end of flax spinning in Ireland but exciting and innovative regeneration projects are underway in the mill complex. From the visitor centre, take the heritage trail around the Sion Mills conservation area or a guided tour by appointment to get an insight into a unique industrial and social heritage and be part of bringing new life back to this special place.